The Queen stage of the AJ Bell Tour of Britain 2021, a 210 kilometer hilly slog from Aberaeron to the Great Orm in Llandidno and a punchy uphill finish. Ethan Hayter having taken over the race lead. A slight delay at kilometer zero for riders to get back on and then a standing start as the flag dropped and the attacks starting straight away. Eventually a six-man group getting away, including local hero Griff Lewis, resident of Aberystwyth, through which the race was about to pass. He was joined by five others in hot weather once again on this race. This late summer continuing, continuing to uh, have temperatures in the high 20s. The virtual leader, Bob Donaldson from Great Britain, who was only three minutes, 17 seconds down on GC, as the attacks began to unfold for the first of the ice boat sprints. Griff Lewis, having just passed through his hometown of Aberystwyth, then took the first sprint at Borth. Good result for him, but then they headed inland and up onto the first categorized climb of the day, the cat to uh, Bulchlinbach. Hard climb, a long climb. And over the top, Jake Scott uh, taking further maximum points. To extend his lead in the Skoda King of the Mountains competition. The peloton then starting to ride a slightly more controlling pace to Koenig Quickstep and Jumbo Visma after Ineos had allowed the break to gain a nine minute advantage. Julien Alaphilippe and Wout van Aert, as well as Ethan Hayter, imagining that they would do battle at the, great, at the finish line at Great Orm. Then the second sprint of the day at Tal Sanai, 86 kilometers from home. Jake's got a formality there, picking up three more. Uh, points this time unopposed by Griff Lewis as on the next climb, the climb of Athar's Well on the outskirts of Snowdonia. Yeah. A counter attack went off the front of two riders from Trinity Racing, Ben Healy and Tom Glog, as well as Mark Soler from Movistar. Those riders then briefly uh, rode across to the front of the race as this 10 kilometer climb continued to ascend all the way up to the top, which was 65 kilometers to, from home. Over the top then, a further 10 points to his tally in the King of the Mountains competition went to Jake Scott with Nicholas Sessler from the Global Six team on his wheel. Then, first of all, Healy and Globe got across and Marc Soler eventually making it a nine-man group. On the descent though, off the climb, under pressure from De Kernick Quickstep, it all came back together again. A crash for one of the Great Britain riders going down hard as the pressure was exerted on the front. Then it calmed down, and that allowed another trio of riders uh, to get up the road. Max Kanter and David Gonzalez from Cajarural Seguros, as well as Maro Schmidt. Uh, it was Maro Schmidt and Gonzalez who lasted longest before they were caught. Then on the marine drive climb, Matteo Jorgensen from Movistar attacked a long, long way out and soloed over the top of the marine drive climb six kilometers from home. Dropping down then onto the flat roads, he was caught again as Wout van Aert was piloted into pole position and then they hit the savage slopes of the final climb to Great Orm. Julien Alaphilippe opening up a soft attack uh, with Mike Woods from the Israel Startup Nation and Wout van Aert just distance at this point and the two pure climbers uh, going free, but Wout van Aert pegged them back as the road flattened out. Ethan Hayter, who'd found himself distanced on the really steep section, then just about made the junction. But at that point, Julian Alaphilippe's teammate, the Danish rider Mikkel Honore, accelerated again, taking Van Aert with him and Julian Alaphilippe. Those trio of riders going clear as Ethan Hayter in the blue jersey started to drop away and get distanced in the final 100 meters or so. Julian Alaphilippe then coming round his teammates and sprinting for home. Van Aert almost alongside him at this point as the finish line neared. And within the last 10, 20 metres, lunging for the line, the Belgian national champion denied Julian Alaphilippe victory. And Van Aert took win number two of the Tour of Britain. The margin slender, but the result clear from this helicopter shot. The bike throw at the end making the difference and Julian Alaphilippe and Wout van Aert at the full extent of their capabilities. Van Aert collapsing, helmet to one side, gulping the air in and receiving the congratulations of his old rival, Julian Alaphilippe. Van Aert, though, taking over the race lead, courtesy of the 10 seconds time bonus and the gap that he got on the road to the blue jersey of Ethan Hayter. It was an eight second gap on the road. He only needed six, and that means that the Belgian Wout van Aert is now in control again of the race by two seconds to Ethan Hayter. Julien Alaphilippe is in third at 11 seconds, and who would bet against those three riders being on the final podium in Aberdeen?